Hey there! Today I want to show you why you should practice your instrument or music in general exactly like a professional MMA fighter would train for his fights. Although it seems counterintuitive, as these two skills are as opposite as it gets, both have one thing in common. Practice and training is needed to get really good at it. So we have to define practice and training first. Otherwise it wouldn't be any different than a performance or the end result we train for. So what is practice? If we think of practice in its most simplistic form, it is basically a translator, as we want to get knowledge from a theoretical standpoint into a practical skill, a mindset or a way of thinking. With that train of thought, it becomes clear why we can learn so much from MMA fighters or professional athletes in general, and also why teachers are so important for our education. Most of the time when you practice your instrument, you don't need the knowledge of how to get out of an armbar or chokehold, at least I hope so. But the way MMA coaches are training their fighters gives us a lot of opportunity to observe and learn how to convey knowledge in the most efficient way possible. On that basis it becomes really easy to see the difference between a good and bad teacher as well. I think everybody had a teacher in high school or college who was an expert in their subject, but nobody liked their class just because they weren't able to convey that knowledge. As we get ourselves a good foundation and knowledge of what practices in general now, let's see how we can do it efficiently. The key word we're going to focus on is flow. When we want to learn something new, it is always a challenge we can't yet overcome with our current skill set. To acquire a new skill set to overcome that limit is quite difficult though, because if we set our challenge too low, we get easily bored and don't really learn anything new. But if we set the challenge too high, it is so far out of reach that we get frustrated, are more inclined to give up and don't learn anything new either. So we want that perfect middle ground and that middle ground is called the flow state. The same concept exists in the MMA as well and it's called sparring. When you think about the first priority of an MMA fighter during training, it is not necessarily to win but to improve. And to do that while still reducing the chances of injury and reducing the amount of rest you need after a session, they train at approximately 70 or 80 percent of their intensity level. Let's make an example. Let's say we practice a whole week for two hours each day. The following week we start upping the ante and practicing for three hours each day. But after the fourth day we realize we overdid ourselves and need a rest for three days. Although we practice more on the days we did practice, in effect we practiced less. That means consistency beats intensity every time. And the bigger the time frame is we're looking at, the more prevalent it'll become. Now, how do we get that consistency and enter the flow state specifically? This can be so frustrating because it's so hard to reflect on when you just start to learn a new skill. And this is where good teachers can really help you out. Because they can observe your learning process objectively and through the knowledge and experience can adjust the intensity level of your challenges so you experience the flow state every time you sit down and practice. There is a big chunk of privilege and luck involved in being able to get a good teacher. And although it is really helping the learning process, with all the knowledge provided by YouTube and other resources on the internet, it isn't a necessity to get one to get your journey started. You'll probably be overwhelmed and bombarded by lesson material and exercises on YouTube and the World Wide Web when you start your learning process. But you always should remember, practice should be fun and not an obligation. So if you're unsure if you are in the flow state and if the challenges and intensity levels are set just right for you, always ask yourself, are you having fun first? We need practice to get better, we established that. But if you don't enjoy the process of getting better, then you actually work away from your goal instead of towards it. It doesn't help anybody if you acquired a new skill in the end, but are so annoyed by the process that you'll never end up using it. So if you realize you don't enjoy your practice after an extended period of time or even just after you took a break and came back and are still frustrated with an exercise, try changing up the exercise or your practice routine altogether. Examples for that might be just slowing down a specific song passage that's driving you nuts because you can't get it right. Or on the other hand, if you get bored with a specific scale, try applying it on a backing track and see if you can switch it up a bit. I hope you found this video interesting and could get something out of it. I enjoyed making it at least and hope to see you next time. Happy practice!